Oli Oli World might be the weirdest skateboarding game that I ever played to this date, but in a good way. Oli Oli World is set in a world of Redlandia, a skatable content which has five distinct and magical areas formed by five skate gods. Shifan, the skate wizard, who is the character that links the realms of divine and the mortal, is about to hang up the wheels of her skateboard and it's looking for a replacement tailored to her mythical tasks. The player does, as on his skateboard, the possibility of replacing Shifan and be the new skate wizard. This is not just an interesting title for its gameplay. His entire narrative is presented in a goofy yet very involving way, where it's possible in all the characters to perceive their personality traits. The player has the unconditional support of a group of friends who, although they have only known each other since the beginning of his adventure, help him with their lessons learned from his experience in this magical world. Regarding to the gameplay, it unfolds through a side scroller screen. Each level is presented in a different way, containing ramps, walls, rails, platforms, giving the player the possibility to perform tricks as they pleased. As expected, the trick starts with a low level of difficulty, and as you progress in the adventure, they start to get more complicated. Even so, the important thing to get more points are the combos. Those long lines of text with the tricks that were performed pull the most hardcore side of each one. The problem is, if you fall, all the accumulated points are lost. The game has a system of checkpoints during the level which can help to have a smoother run. In this sense, it is possible to adjust the type of approach of each level and compete with friends or even worldwide to obtain the highest score. Who doesn't like a little bit of competition? There is no feeling of boredom by the repetition of situation. The level design of each world makes things very fresh, with each new area presenting a different mechanic, such as the possibility to grind or wall ride, or the simple fact of presenting secondary paths called gnarly path, where is it increases the difficulty and the hazards. These mechanics are introduced in a gradual rhythm to facilitate the understanding of their complexities, making the whole experience super immersive and fun, where the simple sensation of speeds that you can take from riding down the slope or by grinding on rail is very well implemented. The main objective of each level is to reach the end, however, it is possible to complete a handful of highly diversified and level-specific secondary goals thus adding a new layer and hours of gameplay. After the end of the campaign, there is a very interesting post content adding to all the replayability that you can have to repeat the levels in order to complete all the side quests of each level. There is a mode that randomly generates content where the player can choose the biome, difficulty and duration of the stage in order to get the best score. A key will be associated within the level, allowing the player to return to the previous generated level or even share with the community. In addition to all these experiences, there is the online mode where players can complete head to heads to climb the ranking and consequent league. It is indeed possible to get a lot of enjoyment out of the story alone, but the enjoyment that is taken from understanding each maneuver or a combo mixed with the learning curve that it's hard but super interesting to go through, it's to be praised.